So here we are. I'm standing in my backyard where I'm in the middle of a project. As you can see, uh, I've dug a path. And I've dug this path because uh, there was a brick sidewalk in there and the brick sidewalk was overgrown with grass and it was becoming a hassle to maintain. So I figured I would dig it up, get some sand, replace it with sand, and then have a nice curb for my flower garden that's going to go in this area. Well, that was the plan. Well, I ran into a little something. See, while I was digging it, I found that. It's filled up with water now, but when I found it, all I found was a bunch of bricks that were stacked vertically in a circle, three layers thick, and it's like, whoa, there's a well in my backyard. So I called my buddy Tim. Tim knows a lot about historic res uh, restoration. And he said, no, nah, it probably wasn't a well. It was probably a cistern. I said, huh. The only cistern I know about is at the local museum. And in the museum, it's on the roof. Collected rainwater for daily use. And in this case, it's just right by the back door. And he said, back in the day, people would collect rainwater and use it for whatever they needed to during the day. And they didn't need water in the quantities, or they didn't use water in the quantities that we do today. So it was, you know, pretty typical that a rainfall would last for a very long time. So here I am. I filled that baby up with water from, from the hose because I wanted to see if it would hold water. And there was a little bit of erosion. Uh, so the water was sinking in on the edges so I just filled it up with dirt to uh, uh, see if it would hold water if all the all of the holes were plugged and well it did and it's kind of cool but for now I have a cistern that I have no use for uh, but the location is such that if somebody ever has the urge to dig it up they'll know exactly where it is so it's keeping this for posterity's sake. Maybe somebody will have the wherewithal to want to dig it up further, but there's the back door of my house, and there's the cistern right on the other side of this pile of sod and bricks. So that's the way things are going today. It was a pretty fun project. Just got to wait for the Sandman to come, and we're not talking about the Metallica Sandman. We're talking about the guy with the truck, with the dump truck. So... That's what's going on in my world, the world of the cistern. So until next time, have a nice day, be kind to animals, keep your nose clean, and I'll be back.